IRC is about confession of Lutheranism. We confess together. We confess Christ, not only as an example or moral teacher, but Christ as a gift, as a savior of the sinners. This is in the center. We are not alone as Lutherans, as confessional Lutherans. And that is one of the main purposes of International Lutheran Council. But we can, as uh, Lutherans, be stronger uh, when we be together, when we can uh, understand that in other people, in other ways, in other parts of the world, they have the same problems as we have. Let me tell you a story. Over yesterday, we were here assembled for Vespers, for the daily prayer at this marvelous conference. And um, Peter Abiba from South Sudan, the bishop, uh, did the sermon. And he stood on this pulpit here on my side and preached the gospel and so clear. Jesus Christ centered the forgiveness of sins and he ended up with the Lord's Supper that we receive body and blood of Christ in with and under bread and wine. It's very significant for our Lutherans around the world to know that there are others just like them who confess the scriptures fully and believe in the Book of Concord which expresses the doctrine of the gospel beautifully. During these past few years, uh, we have faced uh, in the society uh, uh, enormous pressure on the questions of freedom of speech and religion. I have been charged the courts about hate speech, accused of, of uh, discrimination just by upholding the basic Christian teaching of the order of creation. And so many people are confused about their identity, grasping for some kind of identity, louder and louder forcing something that is false upon the world, trying to emote and uh, express their own identity. We have the answer, identity in Christ. You are valuable in Christ. You are forgiven of your sins. You're empowered to live a life of joy and forgiveness. The spirit of uh postmodernism and secularism and all these ideologies are coming and influencing our world today. And those who are faithful to the Word of God seems to become very few. But that is how the church is. I mean, uh, the faithful will always uh, remain, but God still will preserve His Word into this minority. And in his word, he, he blesses, he saves, uh, he keeps us in faith, and always he will uh, uh, be with his people to the end.